Hi everyone, Pip here again to tell you a little bit about Descenders. So, next week I thought maybe I'd put together a guide to teach you how to maybe practice so that you don't suck at forest. I don't know if anybody's interested in that, let me know below in the comments if you are. But for this week, we've got a nice, straightforward, simple video that everybody asks me about every time they encounter this node. What on earth is construction site and how do I finish it? So. Before we get stuck into that, let's announce our contest winners and then let me tell you about our next gear giveaway. So this week we're going to be giving away three Invisibikes because these were so popular the last time we were giving away gear. If you want to win one of our three Invisibikes this week, make sure you enter our giveaway. It's in the video description. Go have a read of it. Go click the links. Go find out a little bit more about us and win yourself a brand new in-game bike. So last week we were giving away three red luck sets. So if you were in the drawing for that competition, here are the winners. Congrats to you folks. We'll be emailing you your gear codes shortly. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's crack on with construction site. So construction site is a bonus node that you'll find while you're going through Highlands. It's on the map as a little star and it looks a bit like this. The idea is you want to go from the bottom of the scaffolding all the way up to the top and then to the finish to be able to grab your app. So how do we do it? Well, here's an overview of what the run should look like. You pop up these pipes here and across this plank here. Break, set yourself up for these new girders that are in front of you. Now these are super narrow, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then across this next one. And then the trap that I'm sure is set for new players. You choose between whether you want the tunnel or the girder. Spoilers, always go for the girder. A uh, little jump. I nearly, I, I nearly botched that. Uh, up this girder. And then you want to drop off to the side and you want to drop as flat as possible. Oh, good job me. Good, I saved that but not very well um and then straight across these planks over these a little jump and then you are home and free once you're over this girder nice and simple nice and straightforward actually very difficult so the first jump is definitely the hardest part of this um it's a bit scary to tackle but don't panic we'll go through it so this first jump here you need to jump up onto these pipes and climb them a little bit so the way to do it is to jump onto the front of this first panel and then as you jump onto the pipes rock your bike backwards as you feel you're getting towards the pipe push it forwards if you feel like you're going too slowly don't worry about respawning and trying again this beam's nice and wide but this beam is going to be a bit of a problem and i like to put myself into first person mode here so let's do that it's a little raised too so you'll bump off it if you're just heading straight towards it so Angle your wheel on on top and you'll be fine. Same here, keep it nice and straight and make sure that your handlebar actions are small, not big turns, only little ones. Make sure you brake at the end of it because you're gonna choose between these two. And honestly, as I say, the tunnel is a new player trap. The tunnel looks really cool. And because you've got a jump at the end of it, it looks super, super cool if you can pull it off. But the walls are solid. So girder is probably your best bet. If you look in here, the walls here are actually quite narrow and you don't have much room to jump on the other side. It's really easy to jump too easy using the pipe. So I always suggest the girder. You've already done two sets of girders. You know how to do them. Pipe, bad, girder, great. The other thing with the girder is you can see about three quarters of the way up. You want to start pedaling a little bit quicker so that you can get over this gap here. Now I actually almost missed this gap because I oversteer a little bit at the beginning of this girder, which you'll see. But don't stress it, with a little bit of pumping up, so counter pumping, you should be able to hit it no problem. Yeah, nearly on my face, but not quite. So do another break because you're going to have to uh, line up for this girder here, which I almost miss completely because I'm not taking into account the proper turn. And then the jump down. So here you want to make sure that your jump down is as tight to the right as you can and that you're keeping your bike as flat as possible. Here I don't do that and we actually almost spill over to the side. As you can see, this is really embarrassing. 
Sorry, friends. So anyway, once you've made it, break, because you need to make sure you are straight once you hit about the middle of this, because you must be straight on the pipe to be able to make this jump and then break again because this girder is not straight on from the pipe. Just take it easy, turn onto it, little tiny movements with your handlebars, and then you're basically home free. There's almost no way, provided you can stay straight, uh, that you'll miss those wooden benches and you are all good to go. A lot of people then worry like, where is the exit? It's super, super easy to find, just right at the back of the park, so you have to go through this bowl. Oh, nice little trick. Good job, past me. And then whip round in through the exit. Super simple. And it's that easy. It's that easy to complete. Once you've got that first jump in, you should be absolutely fine. Don't forget, tilt your bike back. And then as you start coming up towards the top of the pipes, push your bike down forwards. Nice and straightforward. All right, good luck out there. Make sure that you send us, uh, if you do manage to finish construction site, Make sure you send us some screenshots of you at the top of the world and we'll catch you all next week. Don't forget, if you want to win an Invisibike, enter our giveaway. It's in the video description. Go click the links, go find out a bit more about us and absolutely, absolutely get in to win one of these gorgeous bikes. Congratulations again to our winners and I'll see you next week. Bye!